What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to do a really cool gaming montage inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Before we get this video going, I do wanna say right out of the gate, I am using DaVinci Resolve Studio. However, everything that I'm doing in this can be done inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If it cannot, I will point it out and show you another option to maybe be able to do it right inside the free version. Let's load up DaVinci Resolve and get going. So I have a bunch of video clips here. If I just scroll through, I just kind of recorded me playing Hogwarts Legacy because it's a pretty fantastic game. I'm not even gonna lie, but this video is not about that. Uh, I'm going to be doing a gaming montage. Now there's two style of videos I've noticed for gaming. There's gaming montages and there's gaming walkthroughs. If we were doing a gaming walkthrough, this might be a little bit of a different method. We can round robin to that here towards the end of the video. So I'm gonna play through and I'm gonna find some cool video clips. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna set an I and I'm gonna set an O after it does something because that was pretty cool. I'm gonna grab just the video and I am going to drop it in right here. Uh, and then I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna continue to scrub and look at these video clips and find the cool parts. If you're having a hard time and you keep noticing that it goes black, you could always shut off the inspector. You could bring up two monitors. So you don't ever have to worry about when you click down here that you don't have your second viewer up there. I prefer to do that. So I'm gonna speed through this real quick and I'm just gonna find all the good clips that I like and then we will go from there. Now, before I edit a video, I normally like to have some kind of music depending on the style of video. Now I got the music and a lot of these special effects I'm gonna be using from our sponsor, and that is Motion Array. I have been using Motion Array for over a year now, and there's always something new that I'm finding that will make my life that much easier. Specifically with this, like a gaming video, maybe we want to add some really cool transitions on top of there. They've got a plethora of those. You literally just download it, add it to DaVinci Resolve, add it to your video, export it out, and you're good to go. If you wanna add an awesome title, they have so many titles and presets on there, it's not even funny. And they're always adding new ones, as well as they've got LUTs, uh, music, sound effects, you name it, they're a one-stop shop for all your video editing needs. If you're wanting to check out Motion Array, I'll have a link in the description below that'll give you a discount code on an already good deal. Thank you so much Motion Array for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. Now that I have all my video clips selected, I'm gonna go ahead and shut off that second monitor and turn back on the inspector and I'm going to skim through and you can see I don't really have an insane amount there was really no rhyme or reason why I was recording this I basically just hit record on my ps5 recorded a whole bunch of clips of the Hogwarts legacy and that's about it so we're going to pretend that there's music there and that's what we're editing too so I'm going to start it off with this shot by hitting space on my keyboard I like that it's hovering around him I am going to right click on it and I'm going to go to read time controls again the keyboard shortcut is command Command R on a Mac. So you can just hit Command R and it's gonna bring that up. I'm gonna hit Command Plus to zoom in here. I'm going to hit this little check down right here. I'm gonna add a speed point and then I'm gonna bring it up here just so we don't cut off any of our video clips. I'm gonna click on this little drop down and I'm gonna change speed to 200. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go the retime curve. Again, I'm gonna hit command plus to zoom in here. I'm gonna click this little check and I'm gonna do retime speed is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna click that little ball right there and I'm going to make it be a little bit smoother. You can curve it in and out, you can see. So let's play that through and see what that looks like. It'll speed up a little bit. Mm, that's okay. So let's hit Command R again and bring that back up. And I'm going to change the speed to 400. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I'm liking that better. I would probably do this perfectly to the length of music. And I recommend you doing that. You can kind of edit it however you're wanting. Let's start with something like that. Sure, I like that. I'm going to do the same thing. Bring it up here. I'm going to hit Retime Controls. I'm gonna find where the spot is cool. I think that's cool right there. I'm gonna add a speed point. I'm gonna speed this up. Let's only do like 200%. And then we're gonna do this one to 50%. I'm gonna zoom in here. Let's actually do this to 400. I think that looks better. Move it right there. Right click, retime curve. We're gonna do the same thing. We are gonna add the retime speed. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna try to like curve that so just 
just barely has a spot there. So if we play that through, yeah, I'm kind of digging that. That's pretty cool. You don't have to speed ramp through every video clip. I think it looks cool for certain ones, like that's fine. If there's movement in the camera, that tends to do better. So this one, I'm just gonna do a hard cut. We're gonna have me bring that down and then let's bring this over. Let's start it right there. I'm gonna zoom in one more time, play that through, boom. And then we'll have that go over, boom. And then that comes in, boom. And then we'll do one more big one. Let's find a good one. That one's pretty cool, but I think I like the unforgivable curse. So I'm gonna move this over here and we're gonna do just like that, but I am gonna slow it down at the end. So I'm gonna zoom in, right click, read time control. I'm gonna add a speed point. I'm gonna make it 50% again. We're gonna do the retime curve just so it's a little bit smoother. This is not a step you have to do, but I do think it makes a difference. Boom. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Let's even try slowing that down even more. Let's push that to 25%. I know it's not gonna look amazing because it's only shot in 60 frames, but let's just see what it looks like. That actually looks kind of dope. So we're gonna let that be a little jittery just like that. We are going to do one more tweak on top of this, which I think will look really cool. I am going to add a generator and I'm gonna add a solid color. And in here, we're gonna click the color under inspector. Let me bring this over so we can see. I'm gonna do green, but I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, something like that. And then I'm gonna to go to settings. We're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna hit, let's do color burn is kind of dope. Let's fade that in. So after he hits him, and let's scoot that over just like so, it starts burning to green. I think that's super cool, something like that. And if it's a little too much, we could always turn it down a little bit, something like that's cool, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Now the last style I wanna teach you is a gaming walkthrough. So we've got our wizard flying through on a broom, super exciting. I've got a shot of some older people playing a video game that I got off of Motion Array, and I'm just gonna drag that right here. I think that's fine. Uh, we don't need it to be the full length, so we'll just make it short, just like so. Now. If we wanna have it to where they're in the bottom, just pretend that's you gaming. There's a couple different ways you can approach this. So we could zoom it out here over the inspector and we could bring it right down here somewhere and just position it and you're good to go. You could play that through the whole time uh, and that that's easy. And then the other way, if we reset that is here on the bottom left, we could do the transform and we could just grab it and make it smaller, just like so, drag it, move it right there, and that took us like two seconds. And now they're playing in the corner, that's it. If you wanted to have them fade in, you could have them fade in just like so. So maybe you're like, oh, I'm playing Hogwarts and I'm old. Now the other way we'll be adding someone in that's got a green screen behind them. You see a lot of gamers do that. So if you shot yourself on a green screen, we're gonna grab this video clip of this guy dancing. It definitely looks like a gamer. I don't know what gamers not dancing while they're playing a video game. So we're gonna grab this guy. We are gonna hop inside the fusion tab and in here we're gonna hit shift space bar and we are gonna look for key and we are gonna grab an ultra key just like that. We're gonna add it. You can see it's in our chain. We are going to hit the eyedropper on the background color and we are just gonna select the background. It took it away just like that. Yours may need a little bit more work, but for the purpose of this, that's fine. Then we're gonna go back to our editor. You can see that he is dancing now with nothing behind him. And then again, we could do the same thing. We make sure we have the transform clicked and we are just going to resize him just like so right there. And now you've got him dancing in the corner playing Hogwarts Legacy. Well, there you go. I hope you guys learned something. That's two different styles of gaming videos you can put together. Pretty easy inside DaVinci Resolve. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See you next time. Peace.